again. I use this time. Look what just came in the mail. I am so, I am so excited. Guys, this one, we basically, it has been long awaited and we didn't even know that we were waiting. Guys, we didn't know we were waiting on this. The fragrances by Mrs. Jackie Aina. Guys, this, I'm excited. I'm excited. Who else freaked out when we saw that Miss Jackie was drop, dropping her fragrances? Now, she's known for her candles. If you don't know about her candles, I actually don't own any of her candles, to be honest, but I have smelled a few. They smell good, and I have heard great things about her candles. I'm just more of a perfume girl. I do love candles as well, uh, but guys, when she dropped this, I was like, oh, Miss Ma'am. <laughs> I know everyone is going to go absolutely crazy. I saw where she was kind of talking about her fragrances. She dropped different visuals for her fragrances. Really, really, really beautiful. And guys, we just got them delivered today. I got all four because I really wanted to try them. And also it is going to be a first impressions. Now, I don't even know if people do first impressions anymore because technically first impressions are, you know, like what are they really worth? I understand. What are they really worth? Because when you have a first impression, you, you haven't worn it, you haven't really experienced it, you haven't worn it out in the world, you don't know longevity, projection, any of that stuff, but I'm just gonna give you guys my first initial impressions on the fragrances because I'm excited and I wanna do it. Okay, so the first fragrance we're gonna go with is I Am Her, okay? This is Forever Moods, I Am Her. I did get um one this one in the full size and then i got the rest of the three in the travel size because once again we want to be budget friendly and also i was watching something where jackie said something so key for me and i feel like she was reading me a little bit but um i think it's good for all of us to know this day she said don't be the one with the bag that costs more than what she's got in it you know like you know if you don't have the money don't be buying all of the stuff you know, and then bag costs a lot, but then inside, but you don't have the money. So I don't know. I felt like I was like, you know what? Let me just get my travel set. Let me not just go over here and spend all this money because we're growing, you know? Guys, let's get into the first fragrance. This is I Am Her once again. When I saw it had a note of red velvet in it, I was like, what? A red velvet accord? Yes. Okay. Now I saw the bottles online. This is what she's looking like. This is what she is looking like. It is in the shape of a diamond. I didn't realize it was a diamond at first, but I heard other people say it, so it must be true that it's in the shape of a diamond. Okay. Now, when I first saw this bottle, I love the color, by the way, it blends in with everything that I have on today, but when I saw this bottle, first impressions, I was like, okay, like I like the shape and everything, but it does look a little bit, you know, a little bit like more plasticky than I was, I was thinking that Jackie would put out her being just so like, you know, elevated and everything like that. I was, I was expecting like a little bit of a different packaging, but I will say the feeling of it, it does have weight to it. So I know it looks pretty plasticky. I think the top, the top is plastic, but um, the bottom does feel a little bit more heavy and it is glass. So I do like that. Uh, but I was expecting like a little bit of a more elevated packaging. But of course, let's go ahead and get into the smell. Okay, nice sprayer. Okay, I do like that. I feel like I am getting a fruit note. I'm definitely getting a fruit, a fruity note, but this does feel a bit deeper. I get the warm gourmand. I wouldn't have pegged it as pear, but I do get it in here. I do get the fruity note. It is also sweet, it's vanillic. And I feel like I am smelling something cakey. Like I do feel like I smell the red velvet in here. I do, I need to spray it on my skin. I need to see, but it's good. It's a good one. It's a good one so far. Oh, I sprayed it on my knuckle. I do like it. Right now, it's not like screaming at me. It feels like it's probably more of a moderate type of fragrance, but it is well-rounded. Like it's, I'm getting like fruit, fruitiness, some sweetness, 
Um, it's not like, I don't feel like it's giving like super foody, foody gourmand, which you can definitely smell like there's, there's something warm and vanillic in here. It is very nice. This one, I feel like I have to play with it more. I have to play with it more, but I do feel like I would really love this. It smells very easy to wear and it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell heavy to the point to where I would have to wear this only in like fall, winter. This smells like it could be a, a year round fragrance. Like it doesn't smell, it doesn't smell too heavy. Very feminine, very feminine. Okay. I do like it though. I do like it. I wanna, I, I need to wear this. I need to wear this y'all. Y'all know first impressions, but so far I do smell it. I will say on the initial spray, the initial spray, like a few seconds, it, I do get a little bit more of that alcoholy smell. But after that, it really envelops. I get a fruity, kind of cakey, warm, but very year round type of fragrance. This doesn't smell like you have to only, it's not heavy enough. Like the oud, when it said oud, I was super intrigued. It's not a heavy oud. And even I would say, if you are not an oud lover, you should still try this. Like I'm not getting a heavy, dirty oud in here at all, at all. This smells very year round. This smells very mass appealing. It doesn't smell offensive. It smells like you actually would get a lot of compliments because of how appealing it is. It's very pretty though. It's very pretty. Okay. So that's, okay. That's I am her forever mood. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. Cause I have to, I have to wear these out, but that one I think is going to be very likable. I can see that one being very, very likable. Okay. So the next one we're going to try is called you remind me. So this is the packaging. It comes in this little box here. Oh, I don't know if it's okay. That little box. And I wanted to also try the travel sizes to see what they would look like, um, how they would feel and stuff. It does feel like a glass. Um, and this is what it looks like. So very simple, throw it in the bag. You know, it doesn't have a lot of weight to it, but typically when I'm traveling, I don't want something with a whole lot of weight. It feels like a regular travel size, um, gold top. So this one is called, You Remind Me. So it is a fresh floral. Keynotes are apricot skin, orange blossom, and sensual musks. So it does sound like this one is going to be more cleaner, fresh, muskier. It says skin scent as well, or skin. Okay. Ooh, ooh. not the sprayer. Okay. There we go. Okay. Okay. This one is good. I keep getting my lipstick on it. This one is good. This one is good. This one is good. Right out of the bottle. If you like a cleaner, muskier, I gotta, I gotta try it on skin. I have on something today. Let me spray it there. This is an easy to wear, very pretty. This is very pretty. Is that apricot? Wow. This one is good. Yeah, the other one is definitely gourmand, warmer, sweeter. This one is a fruity musk, cleaner, fresher. Yeah, another mass appealing one. I feel like it's locking this. Another mass appealing one, but this, this feels where I'm at in my life. This feels like where I'm at in my life. This one is really good. I'm liking you remind me. I am liking you remind me. I have to play with it more, but this is definitely a fresher, uh, a muskier, fruity, musky. This one is really good. I like this one so far. <laughs> I feel like it would be very work appropriate. That's good. Okay guys, so you remind me Yes. Okay. That's you remind me. I do like that one. I really do like that one. The next one we're going to get into is NDA. So what does NDA stand for? Can anybody tell me? I know it's a popular thing, but all I can think of is non-disclosure agreement. And I don't think that's what she's talking about. I just forgot what NDA stands for. Not 
I don't remember, but I know somebody, somebody knows. So whoever knows, I gotta look it up and I'm gonna feel so dumb. But guys, this is NDA. Um, it has like a purplish um, tint to it. Okay, so let's try NDA. NDA says it's a warm floral. So there's spiced rum, tonka bean, and tobacco flower. So this seems like it's gonna be a little bit richer, a little bit more evening, nighttime type of vibes. I spray a lot. Warm floral. Hmm. That one's good too. This one is good too. I kind of see how this wears on skin, boy. This immediate, my immediate thought, I'm getting like a nutmeg. It's probably the spice rum. It almost smells a little bit like, like I want to say like eggnog. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm getting this spiced cinnamony. That smells nice. It is not, these scents are not giving me, these scents are not giving me harsh. These are appealing, but this one is good. Um, this one is very good. I like this one. It has this like nutmeggy type of pop in the opening. It does smell a bit gourmand, it does. I, I don't know if I'm getting floral, but I'm definitely getting warm. I don't know if I'm getting floral, but I'm getting I'm getting warm, nutmeggy. But that smells nice. These are going to be so easy to wear. I love that. I love that these are going to be so easy to wear. NDA. I do like this one as well. I do like this one. I have to really experiment and wear these, but I like this one as well. I mean, it's it's not harsh at all. Like tobacco flower. It says is in here. I'm not getting like this harsh tobacco. Do not be scared of these notes. Like when you see Red Velvet Accord, Oud, Tobacco Flower, they are blended very well and they're not harsh. Like they are not super deep. All of these are smelling pretty year round fitting. Like very easy, simple to wear. Very simple to wear. They're not smelling harsh at all. NDA, I like that one as well. I like that one as well and it smells like maybe a little bit more, not sophisticated, a little bit. I thought it would be very, very, very evening. I would wear that in the daytime too. That doesn't smell like it, like it has to be in the nighttime type of fragrance. Very easy to wear. Okay, let's get into the last one. So the last one is hard to get. And it comes in this yellow packaging here. Oh, is it zoomed in? Okay. Yellow packaging, hard to get. And let's see what the notes read there. Hard to get. I'm liking these. Oh, Jackie. I'm liking them though. Okay. So this is the, the yellow tint that it has, hard to get. And it feels like a ray of sunshine. So, okay, this is a fruity floral. It says citron zest, sheer jasmine, and whipped vanilla. Um, I'm not big on citruses. I'm not super big on citruses, but the whipped vanilla and jasmine, I am big on. So let's see how this wears. It is a floral. Okay. Vanilla. Now this one definitely is making me smile. It's making me smile. This one is good as well. This one is good. It smells sweet. Like put it, put some vanilla in everything and I'ma like it. Like. This one is making me smile. Do I smell something citrusy? I don't know if that's what I'm smelling. I'm smelling like whipped, creamy, vanilla with like, yeah, there's something bright and lighter at the top, but also vanilla and creamy. That's what I'm smelling. <laughs> I'm not, this is so, this is easy. This is easy. This smells good too. All of these, smell really good. It does not smell, it does not smell like it's has reinvented the wheel. It does not smell like that. These scents are not smelling like so super unique, but they are smelling really, really good. Very easy to wear. If you like, I mean, they're just smelling good. Very mass appealing. I don't know. I don't, I can't even tell which one is my favorite. I feel like now 
I kind of like, this one smells good. I think my husband will really like this. He really likes the citrus. This one smells good. It smells, but once again, it, 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 everything has its own like sweet, a bit of gourmand touch to it. Whether it's a floral bit of gourmand, spicy bit of gourmand, or a sweet literal gourmand, everything has its own bit of touch to it. It is not harsh. You can wear these fragrances everywhere. If you wanna wear them to the office, out for brunch, that sort of thing, it, they are inoffensive and they smell really good. Like it does not smell super unique. I must say like it doesn't smell like a niche or anything like that, but they smell really good. They smell very easy, very easy. Like I would easily throw any of these in my purse and just spray them on. I have to test longevity. I have to test projection. I have to see how they wear, how they wear in different weather, but they all seem like they can be worn they all seem like they can be worn and I have to see how they how they develop and everything like that. But I must say, like, she she did a really good job. She did a really, really good job with these scents. I don't have any complaints. Like I said, I know it's not a niche house and I knew Jackie would do something a little bit more mass appealing because it's in Sephora and this is her first line and everything. So, I mean, she's done a really good job. I can see her just building on these concepts. And I don't even know which one is my favorite. I feel like now it's gotta be between like the, the three travel ones that I've gotten between like the, the musky one, that one smells really good. Like they smell really good. I cannot see somebody not liking them. On the initial spray for I Am Her, I, was, I got a little bit of, of alcoholiness, like the initial for a few seconds, but they smell really good. They smell really good. I mean, that's that's wonderful. I, I don't know. I encourage you guys to just try them out. The travel sizes cost 28 bucks. So I did get these travel sizes. I'm going to experiment with them more and see which ones I want to pick up full full bottles of. But very easy, very, very, I don't want to say simple, but kind of effortless, very effortless. And from, from younger to older, I can see anybody wearing this collection. It doesn't smell juvenile, but it also is not so, it's not, it doesn't smell mature either. So, okay. So yes, guys, so that is my final thoughts on first impressions on Jackie Ina's uh, new collection, her, her perfume collection. Super excited for her. I think she did a great job, but I do encourage you guys to check it out yourselves. Let me know what you think. If you guys have smelled these fragrances, let me know down below what was your favorite? What was your least favorite? Are you rocking with them? Are you not? Definitely give me your opinions. I gave you mine and I will see you guys next time. Bye.